studio while I was in the booth. He was like, oh, Ma, do it like this, Ma. Why don't you try it like this, Ma? So I did get a couple of those. Yeah, nah, that, look, look, <laughs> Felly, when I was Felly, Felly just said that. Felly was like, Nelly was in there doing his background harmonies and all that. <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all gonna act like I ain't got no hit. <laughs> we already know you do. Already, JD, think they the only motherfuckers can make hit records around here, man. <laughs> that is not true. We everyone knows that you have your hit records. But, but, but yeah, so we did my verse in St. Louis together in the studio, and then we went to Atlanta to do like the, <clears throat> the ad libs and like the rest of the sauce and the juice at JD's studio. And then it was completed, I think, after that. Okay. Yeah. So what, what was it like getting in the studio and just vibing out together? I know, like, it was, you felt, both of you guys felt super comfortable. And, you know, the song is fun. So we know that you guys had a good time. Uh, it's like a million ideas going in, in like, at one time. Nelly telling me, mm -hmm. Nelly telling me how fast I got to shoot the video. Um, <laughs> Sean, Sean, Sean telling me how fast I got to shoot the video. Uh, yeah, speaking of when is it happening? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, and then, <laughs> then, then Nelly telling me if if Master Phil don't hurry up and put the song out right, he got the money put the thing like it was just a whole bunch of all <laughs> <laughs> it's just a whole bunch of crazy questions going on, <laughs> just ideas and everything flying around the room. So, exactly. I got a question, so with the title of the song, how did you guys come up with that? Well, it's, a, it's a remake. Uh, it's like, like, remake. Yeah, it's an actual remake. Um, so we just want, you know, we remake, remade the song basically as close as possible, but but with with an ATL twist and a Nelly twist and a Shanti twist. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, you know, just paying homage to Subway and Seven O Two. It's ironic that we are in the Seven O Two right now having this conversation. Um, but yeah, so so that's pretty much it. It's a remake. Um, we was trying to. I know we put the song out. That was one of the questions that we was going back and forth, how he was going to title it. But I was like, it's a remake, so it got to be the same name so that they can get their credit and get paid and all of that type of stuff. And if y'all didn't know, Keith, Usher Man is in that group, so we took him. <laughs> <laughs> was there any, did you have any, like, issues uh, trying to trying to uh, make a, the remake? Yeah, it took, it, yeah, it took a minute to get it clear because um, I didn't know that Gerald Avert actually wrote the song. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that's crazy because I didn't know Gerald Avert wrote the song. So Gerald Avert, Gerald Avert's estate had to clear this. And we had to find out who the right people was for us to make this happen. So thank you to the Gerald, Gerald Avert uh, estate and Sean Levert son for making sure that this happened. Yeah, Sean, I bet you didn't know that. That Gerald <laughs> wrote that, didn't you? I did when JD oh, texted me. Man. He texted me. <laughs> when I asked what was going on, I, when JD texted me, that's when I found out <laughs> that it was a sample thing and Gerald had wrote it. Okay, yeah, because we, we all need the video. Is it giving is it giving double dutch or is it getting this new running man that we don't know? <laughs> we don't know nothing I'm about. posting that video of you. I'm posting that on my story. Somebody won't be jumping double. Yeah, because we gotta see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, we waiting on JD with the video. Okay, where you think it should? Where 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 the vibes putting you? What city? Where'd you think? Where are you? Atlanta. Like, yeah. Why Atlanta? Atlanta. That's the whole vibe of the record. Okay. To me, it sounds like Atlanta. He talking about he got to get a a, a shot at Magic. Yeah. <laughs> so they got to get that in there. Yeah, I think going to That's like all the prominent places in Atlanta, just getting a shot out of like the prominent places, that'd be dope. Magic being yeah. okay. Gatorade mm -hmm. vibes. Do they even double check in Atlanta? I don't even know. Yeah, they double dutch in Atlanta. Yeah, that, that, again, that were um. They said, "Tell Nelly, stop smacking." I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he just ate my whole bag of trail mix, and it was the organic one too. And it's the it's the whole bag is gone. Thanks. It was fire. <laughs> That's what he's smacking on. <clears throat> 
So when you connected, when you guys connected with Juicy J, <laughs> did he send over his record? Like, how eager was he to hop on the track? Oh man, so I hit I hit Juicy J up, and um, uh, I didn't know I didn't know how I didn't know how long it was gonna take him. I didn't even know he was gonna rock with it, but uh, luckily I had the Shanti vocals on the on the, the the song, so he could actually hear. What? Wait, 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 wait! Hold on. So what you said? The nigga wasn't gonna do it with just my vocals. I mean, no, no, I'm saying, yeah, no, oh no, listen, God. listen. <laughs> Nah, listen, listen, Mo, because you know we had to chase the Shanti, so it was like, no, y'all. Oh, okay, that's what he said. Stop okay, that. Well, we, we, so, 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 listen, everybody, listen. So once we lock, once we lock Shanti down, let Shanti down to get her focus on the track. I, I wanted Juicy J to hear the song, like exactly how it could possibly be sound, because at that point, then it would be like he'll have a better idea exactly what's gonna happen. So, um. When we when when we got that version, I sent it to him, and he he sent it back with scratches and all kind of stuff that he put into the song. Then I was and I, I, and I was like, oh, and I hit Mo. I'm like, yo, he nailed it. You know what I'm saying? His first his first pass, he he did exactly what we needed him to do. So, you know what I mean? Uh, I, you know, I know he supposed to be he won't be ready till seven o'clock, but but yeah, juicy shout out to juicy. He killed it. One shot, boom, sent the vocals. Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> nah, that, that's dope having a Shanti Nelly and Juicy J all on one track. Oh yeah, now nah, that's a big record. That's why I wanted to do. That's why I wanted to get over here. I, I want people. I don't, <laughs> this can't just go past. You know, they they we we all friends, but I want y'all to understand. It's a big record. It's gonna be a big record for the spring, summer, and all that. And again, and again, whose idea was that? Oh, yeah, it was it was more idea. You know. Okay. Thank you. But it was my idea to add Juicy on it. <laughs> Stamp that. Stamp that. Thank you. Are you guys thank gonna... you. Another one, oh, thank okay. you. Okay. Another one, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys do um I think it'd be I think it'd be dope if you guys go, you know, like do press. You you do you guys plan to do that? Just go around and do press, um, just to prom promote the single and you guys just go together and sit down with a few people. You talking about these are superstars. You, you know that that I, you know, I know, I'm, but I just think that the people want to see them together, like you know, talking about oh, it. Oh no, y'all y'all gonna see y'all gonna see them together all the way, all the time. I know, saying. but you know, like actually seeing them as a couple and then knowing that they like it's just okay, just being a person that's like I hear you, I hear you single <laughs> and you know, seeing just knowing their story, you know what I'm saying? It just, it's just, it's just cute. It's just something that we want to see. It ain't got nothing to do with them. It's just everything to do with us. <laughs> it ain't got nothing to do with y'all. They want to see y'all. <laughs> we want to see it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, all right. Now, I mean, hopefully, the plan is to do some stuff together. But JoJo, like, like JD said, it's a lot of effort and it's a big budget. Man. And it's hard to find a shanty, y'all. Stop. <laughs> Stop yeah, it's giving it's giving it, it to you. You like booked the business. <laughs> right. So, but it is not hard to find me. Absolutely not. But yeah, I mean, I think it would be dope too. I think we all have some some ideas. Um, our publicists have been talking and just scheduling. You know, Juicy got stuff going on. Nelly got stuff going on. JD got stuff going on. I got is stuff going on. Do -ray? Oh, by the way, Felly. So, so Felly, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, Felly. Yes, this is your do rag. Felly, I'm on. My I'm brain. Request you, Felly. Go ahead. Hold on. Let me request <laughs> Felly. I had this do right for Mad Long. How you got your do rag? I had do this for Mad Long. I was looking for that. No, you wasn't. I was. Nigga. How you going to put my shirt? You was not looking for this one. You have seventy-five thousand do rags in this one suitcase, baby. I got a question. How long did it? How long did it take you guys to um make the track? Like, cause. I like just being on here, you know, just talking and everything. Y'all play a lot, and it's, it's it's cute, you know what I'm saying? Like I love it, but I'm just saying, like, how many times did you have to stop? Okay, stop playing with me. Like, how long did it take for y'all to actually lay the track down? Sean is very hard headed in the studio. <laughs> oh my god, very, <laughs> very hard headed. In the studio. No, very, I'm not. She's very stubborn. No, I'm not. You know I'm always saying? I'm always willing to try certain things. I may not agree all the time. So if he'll be like, Ma, do it like this, and I'll be like, 
Well, She'd I be think like, we shut should. up, nigga. You no, I don't. I, I never. <laughs> I will that. never say that. But I'll be like, uh, all right. I mean, I think I want to do it like this, but let's try that. I'm always open to trying um, to see because we in the studio. You can make a mistake. You could do something that you may not think will be dope, and then it comes out dope, and you never know. You know what I'm saying? So I'm always sit there. He won't say nothing. You'll be like, JD, (laughs) so which one we going to go with? I'm going to let y'all figure that out. (laughs) What the hell? I mean, you know, I I was going, I was about to say that too. I was about to say, you know, it's it's (laughs) in the studio with people that, that 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 you know and um you know they know what they doing it ain't anything like that you know what i mean so so me and mo we be in the studio and he be done did it right a hundred times and then i'd be ready i'm like we can go now and he but he never wants to produce me y'all y'all now listen no 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 hold on hold on let me tell y'all this listen so i've been knowing jd since like 98 right i've been knowing jd since like 98 and you know that's my big brother i love him to death and you just know you uh, i was a fan first right then we became partners then we became family and all of that so regardless of how i got on or regardless of the type of success that i've been um blessed to have and thankful to have period you still want to get in with people who you who you you know who you admire who you who, who, who you think you know what i'm saying who, whose talents you appreciate so every time I go get in the studio with JD, I watch him. He'll sit behind the board. He'll produce Mariah. <laughs> he got comments. He'll produce Usher. He got comments. He got all that. He'll go back and forth with them. And as soon as me and him do a song, I get in the booth. This nigga just walks out. <laughs> I be like, yo, <laughs> what you think, bro? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He like, nigga, you nail it. Just do it. Just do the record. Yeah. I mean, like, yo, what the fuck? He believe he can like, do it. He, he don't gotta say that. No, man. Hey, Felly, man. Hold up, oh, hold up, man. Hold up, Felly, in here. He know what I'm talking about, Felly. How you gonna tell Nelly what to do? No, <laughs> no, that's bullshit, Felly. <laughs> Felly, don't do that. Don't do that, so Felly. I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all how professional and incredible Mo is. Mo probably don't, don't do that, Mo fella. Mo probably don't remember the story. My one of my greatest functions ever, because I'm a young jit in the game. All these are legends, so I appreciate being around these legends all the time. Mo came in the studio and he was like, Yo, I just want to play y'all records. I swear for God, this nigga Mo gave us 45 minute free concert. By the time he was done, he was sweating, he took his shirt off, he was performing, and it was just like five of us. Now I was like I don't know what to do with this energy because this is incredible. So Mo is super professional. He's super hard. Can't nobody do Nelly like Nelly. So, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to coach that because it's just so incredible off the rip. So that's... Oh, you done been around JD too long, <laughs> Felly. I said that. You know I love you to death, man. But that was... Man, man, dude just don't be wanting to produce me. Though. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to do background vocals. And then uh, JD was like, "Hey, he probably gonna he gonna want to sing this." I was like, "Yeah, you're right, you're right. Let me just let me just cool down. Let me just fall back. Let Mo do his thing." So it was a great experience. He's, you know what I'm saying? He wanted greats. So, so man, man. and if for some of y'all that don't know, Philly like is Philly. him. I was gonna say, yeah, Philly, yeah, he's people, him. Yeah, so the people um, who don't know who you are, I know uh, you're a songwriter. You have um, Usher, Chris Brown, Kerry Hilson, I'm just, and plenty more. You want to let the people know? Yeah. Um. Well, you know, right now, <laughs> I'm, working, I'm trying to be great like these guys. It's hard to speak about accomplishments when, you know, you're on the phone with JD and, and, and Nelly and Shanti. So, you know, I'm just trying to work. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate being a part of this record with, with, with Juice and Jay included. So, you know, JD called me at 4 a.m. in the morning like, yo. We got it. I said, well, what we got? Because I'm waking up with my baby. And he's like, yo, we got Juicy J verse on here. It's incredible. So, you know, I'm trying to add this record to the list as well. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's a great record. So, you know, I just appreciate being a part. Okay. So in what way, so everyone that's tuned in, in what ways did you contribute to the um to the track? Well, I just, I kind of like, you know, I threw some ideas out as far as like what the version should be like because they already had the, the hook already nailed together. So I just had some ideas for the verses, but like I say, with Nelly and Ashanti, you know, they are proven writers or whatever. So, you know, I just gave them my idea. They take it and, and they kind of 
do their thing to it and, and make it to where it's them. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just a contributor, you know what I'm saying, in the room 